the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 227 1 Chronicles 13 to 16 And the cart buzzes over the shoulders. On the day the Ark of Covenant, which stood for God's presence, came into Jerusalem, David rejoiced by dancing with all the people. First point. 1 Chronicles records how David cooperated with the captain of a thousand and the captain of a hundred in order to move the ark to Jerusalem. After deciding to make Jerusalem into the new capital of Israel, the first thing David did with the twelve tribes of Israel all together was to move the ark to Jerusalem. The process of David conquering Jerusalem and moving the ark is recorded. In 2 Samuel chapter 6 and 1 Chronicles chapter 13, but there are some differences in the records. To first look at 2 Samuel 6, the order follows David conquering Jerusalem, building his palace, winning against the Philistine, and then moving God's ark to Jerusalem. But in 1 Chronicles 13, the order follows David's reign, conquering of Jerusalem, the plan to move God's ark, construction of David's palace, victory against the Philistines, and then moving the ark to Jerusalem. Lastly, the record ends with David giving an offering of thanks to God. 1 Chronicles 13 records all the procedures of the ark moving starting with the plan and the older actions that were involved. We can see how much effort was put into helping the people who returned from Babylon captivity reconnect to their history and gain a sense of national identity. It also contains the message to not repeat souls mistakes. Now we move on to how the ark was moved from Kiriath Jerim to Jerusalem. The moving of the ark to Jerusalem was agreed by the people of Israel and David set aside 30,000 soldiers for this task. However, this natural project came to an abrupt stop when Uzzah died in the process. This accident occurred as the method of moving the ark was not carried out in God's way of a kingdom of priests. The method David used was the same as when the Philistines took the ark by a carriage. The method of a kingdom of priests was for the Kohathites to carry the ark on their shoulders. Because of the death of Uzzah, the entire process came to an old stop, and the ark was temporarily moved to the house of Obed Edom. Second point, David received a gift from Hiram, the king of Tyre, and then saw victory against the battle with the Philistines. When news broke out to the surrounding countries that David had become the king over the twelve tribes of Israel, King Hiram from Tyre was the first to reach out and offer a big gift. He gave the gift for the construction of David's palace, which was cedar wood and marble. At this, David realized that God had raised him and he glorified God. Chronicles records this as well as the record of the first and second war against the Philistines. The Philistines attacked Israel around the time David became the king of all of Israel. And when Israel started to become a notable country, the reason the right of Chronicles recorded both was with the Philistines was in order to emphasize David's methods in war. David had only one method, and this was to always consult God. Third point, although David's first attempt to move the ark to Jerusalem failed because of the method, the second attempt was successful, 
as it was moved according to the laws of a kingdom of priests. The project of moving the ark to Jerusalem, which came to a brief close due to the death of Uzzah, began again. David heard that the house of Obed-Edom became blessed, and this triggered David to resume his project. David already had the tent prepared for God's ark. The tent made during Moses' day was in Gibeon, but the tent prepared during David's day was a different one. David recruited the Levites and they were told to prepare thoroughly. David repented that he did not move the ark according to the laws of the kingdom of priests the first time round. Fourth point, God's ark was moved from the house of Obed-Edom to Jerusalem by being carried on the shoulders of the Kohat side. The ark finally headed towards Jerusalem. First, the Kohat side carried it on their shoulders. Second, the choir was established. Heman, Asab, and Ethan were appointed as musicians. Third, a group was established wholly to guard the ark. Fourth, as the ark was moved, David made an offering to God. As recorded in 2 Samuel 6, David made an offering after taking six steps. Fifth, when the ark was being carried into Jerusalem, Michal despised David because of his rejoicing. The sin of David rejoicing and Michal despising him because of it was indeed the polar opposite. Fifth point, after moving the ark to Jerusalem, David gave new roles to the Levites. At last, the ark was moved to Jerusalem, and David made an offering to God and rejoiced with the people. He furthermore told the choir and the musicians to praise God. Asaph, who was the leader of the choir, together with the ten members and the priests, blew their trumpet. The choir singing and the priests blowing their trumpets were all according to the laws recorded in Numbers. Seeing all this happen, that day David first appointed Asaph and his associates to give praise to the Lord in this manner. Give praise to the Lord, proclaim his name, make known among the nations what he has done. David handed over his psalms to the choir to sing. Psalm 105 verses 1 to 15 was praise, singing God's praises for his management of history and Israel. Psalm 96 verses 1 to 13 was also praise, praising God and ordering all the people to glorify God. The third song was Psalm 106 verse 1 and verses 47 to 48, praising God for ruling the entire world. David moreover appointed the workers for the ark and the tent. As such, David appointed the workers for the temple. With the ark being safely delivered to Jerusalem, the whole process came to a happy close. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.